Well, guys, it looks like uh, our fields are all coming up and they look pretty pretty darn good. Well, of course, minus some of the, the weeds we've got out here. A few weeds. That's something we're going to have to take care of today. I've got I've got a plan. Crew, I've got a plan. We've got we've got to take care of this. I've also got a plan i got to talk to you about for, well, Uncle Leo. I've got something figured out. It's it. I mean, it's, it's going to be flawless, I think. Yeah, let's just head out. I'll get to you in a second. We gotta take care of these weeds first. And you guys know my infatuation with, um, well, old equipment, it seems like, lately. Not by choice, necessarily. But, hey, you know what? Auction going on, and there's a nice piece of old equipment going on. I'm a sucker for purchasing it. You know how it is. Guys, I really only went to buy this this little harrower, this weed weeder. That's all I really wanted to go buy. But I, I couldn't resist. Um, when a tractor is such a good deal at an auction, I what are you going to do, right? You're not, you're not buying it. It's like going to Costco. You can't just go in and buy one little thing. The one thing you buy is always at the back of the store. You always end up buying something else. That's what's happened here. That's what happened. One stop shop. Welcome to Costco. So we got to draw your 710 along with it. Hey, it was only 25, 25, 26, maybe 27. Be closer to 2,800 bucks after. Well, whatever. Don't worry about it. It was a good price for what we're getting out of this. I don't really need this, but whatever. It's going to go great with um, with our weeder, I guess. If only I could find a truck. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, I guess it still runs, kind of. Come on, Betsy. Come on, Betsy. Come on, crank that gas. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, please. Come on. There we go. All right, we're good. Yeah. Um. Anyone going to line on a new truck? Seriously, this is getting ridiculous. So, guys, Uncle Leo. Like I said, he's back in the county. I guess... Um, the, the Raid Shadow Legends charges he had, uh, I don't know, I think it was sort of China or something was trying to, I don't understand what was going on, I don't know. Regardless of which, they've been dropped, but there's still some copyright infringement laws stuff they're going after him on. I've got a plan to, uh, to help him out here. I think, you know what, we don't keep this on the down low, but I think we gotta find him, find a way to break him out. Oh, this old truck, I'm telling you. You know what, he can have this truck once he gets out. This thing's it's better off that he has it than me. This is ridiculous. Thing sounds like a bloody steam engine when it's fired up here. Uh, no, we got a plan to, to get him out, I think. And it has to do with our sheep. You guys know I've been doing lots of stuff with the sheep. Let me get to the farm. We'll talk a little bit about that. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad about this tractor pulling it in here. And like all these old tractors are all just kind of beat up right now. Um, if it had feelings, it'd be like, oh man, this is where dreams come to draw, come to die, I think. Really? It looks more like a nightmare. This is, uh, it's not looking so good around here right now. I do need to clean this place up. Yeah, something else I need to clean up. But, hey, speaking of which, like I was talking about these sheep guys, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with these. They're making so much, they're making a lot of wool. We've got, like, almost 200 head of sheep. Is that still a thing? 200 head of sheep? I know it's cattle. Is that the same with sheep, too? 200 flocks? No. I don't know. But regardless of which, look at, look at the amount of wool we've got here. And, I mean, I've sold off a bunch of this stuff as well, and I didn't know what to do with it all. Because I've got so much of this stuff, I'm sh that's all I'm doing. I'm shearing sheep left, right, and center right now. So instead of busting Uncle Leo the hard way, I decided, you know what? How about we buy the manufacturer of the prison garments? Why not, right? So, you know, the orange jumpsuits? Hey, guess what? Guess who makes them now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think you can guess. So from now on, all our, all our pretty little sheep, all the wool we're getting from these little bad boys, they're going out to help out Uncle Leo, and we got to figure out if we're going to find a way to maybe get him out that way. I don't know if it's going to work yet, but that's the plan for now, guys. Ugh, fingers crossed. It's a new plan. What's the worst that could happen, right? Yeah, I'm totally going to end up in there with him, aren't I? And uh, while we figure that out, let's let's take care of, well, really what I need to get done today. Um, this thing runs so well. I am so impressed with this little tractor. Let's get this thing off the deck here, and then I can pull off that weeder. But um, yeah, this was a great deal. Hopefully, uh, we can use it for a long time and not have to worry about selling this off to post bail or anything. That's, uh, kind of the deal there, I guess. Let me get that thing hauled off as well. It looks good. Also, guys, just a heads up, I got a line on a new combine, so I don't need to use the old pull-behind anymore. Hopefully, at some point, we can have, like, just a, an old, like, tractor, anti-tractor area back here with the way I'm going. I think that could be something we might have to focus on, but, but uh, yeah, I got a line on a, on a, a used, tra used combine. Hopefully, for next fall, we could use that bad boy. But uh, until then, the worry is what it is. Oh, there we go. Let's go. The old John Deere gets in. Come on. Let me get, that's better. Yeah, it's um, it'll work, I suppose. Not exactly the easiest solution for this, but hey, 
what are you gonna do look at the weeds coming up i gotta get these all torn up though this is ridiculous because i almost wonder if the uh the, the international would be better off for this job but whatever we got a, an excuse to use this now it was such a good deal i almost feel like i it's it's not like it's high horsepower or anything to my comparison the international i think still has more horsepower than this bad boy does but whatever this might replace the farm all to be honest i don't think i have a use really i want to move away from that i mean that thing is such an antique you guys know we've worked that thing to its bone at least now we have something i can maybe use instead uh not that the the farm all is that bad but it's just it's it's slow it, you're just stuck doing four miles an hour no matter what you do and to be honest i think this has probably twice as much horsepower as that old farm all does i mean it is like 50 years newer that's tough to believe isn't it maybe not quite maybe 25 30 all right now we're warmed up i'm finding we got a lot more power actually it just took a second like when we pulled it out of the farm there i should have let this thing warm up a little bit it is a little bit nipply out here right now uh being that it's uh that's so it's getting late in the fall you know what i'm surprised how much leaves we have back on the trees here i thought these would be all falling off by now but we still got some some foliage out there it's starting to come down slowly but yeah considering the the temperature this is actually it fired up pretty good and not even that bad of exhaust on here i was like I, I was expecting to be choked out but yeah not so bad this is actually working out fairly well i mean we do have our um our share of weeds to pick up i mean look at all these guys this field looks like a bit of a mess right now uh, i thought i i tilled this up enough to get rid of those i guess not spin it around back down again oh there we go easy 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 oh yeah she bogged down a little bit there there we go we're all good now perfect <laughs> the rocks that are coming up with this as well uh hopefully this isn't wrecking my crops too badly hopefully this is a, it, it seemed like it was in pretty good shape when i was looking at it at the auction house but uh man we're actually pulling up quite a few rocks and stones there it looks like behind us uh should be all right though i think i think right it, looks, it should be fine it'll be fine maybe i should find a way to spray this next time yeah yeah truth be told truth be told guys i was hoping to find a sprayer like an old trail trail a, tra a trailed sprayer or maybe like a truck mounted sprayer something like that um at the auction i could probably build one myself let's be honest but i just there was nothing there no one was getting rid of that stuff it seems like uh they're in high demand right now trying to find old trucks is tough so <laughs> look at the truck i'm driving can i turn that into a sprayer somehow maybe we can find a way to turn that into that thing into a sprayer all right should be the last little bit here just a few more more weeds to grab drop that back down okay, let's go yeah you can see we got most of them. it looks but you know you don't even notice how bad we missed some of the stuff um until you get in here uh, there's a whole little section on the side here i missed a bunch of passes you know what i'm blaming it on the cedar guys that little cedar we got she didn't do as good of a job as maybe a new one would you can see we missed some stuff right there whatever it's all good it's all good in fact most of the weeds that are growing up right now are actually on spots like well this that we didn't get uh like full penetration of the seeds whatever so i figure this is done uh that field behind us is done as well looks all good over there let's head back to the farm uh once we finish this pass up and we can work on plan get uncle leo out of prison this is a terrible plan that sounds like a great plan to me let's uh let's head back there we're gonna load up some wool and take that down guys yeah i think this plan's actually gonna work out perfectly like i'm i'm one step removed right i'm not actually involved in it i'm just facilitating a possible means and no one needs to know about that i'm just gonna i'm just gonna be there to help out that's all and um what happens if you know if he gets caught well whatever you, you know what it's at least we're tried we're trying something no one needs to know that i'm the mastermind behind the back side of this right right yeah really pretty happy with this uh this tractor though this is working out pretty well all right let's um come on get started please please start thank you let's back this thing on up we'll use this car trailer here and uh we'll load some wool on this thing and take it down to our new uh our new shop and we'll see what we could do with that let's put it right in about right there sure that'll work yeah we've got a few pallets to load up um that one's we gotta shear some more some more sheep here pretty quickly looks like but uh a few pallets let's see here i've got a pallet jack here somewhere where is that thing ah oh, there it is i really need to pave in here or something trying to move a pallet jack around on dirt is such a pain literally it's ridiculous it's um it's not a great way to try to do anything all right let's let's spin this thing around and uh we'll get the get this first pallet loaded up on here shove it on in there we go yeah there we go let's uh and we got to crank this thing on up then to get it off the ground i guess right let's see there we go and up perfect and then just back her on out just give this thing a yard we'll put it over beside the trailer <laughs> yeah just got this thing completely jammed up on there huh weird how a pallet jack's not gonna fit on that little pathway on that little uh 
a little ramp. I need some bigger ramps, guys. That's not going to work at all. I'm just going to have to push this thing. The pallet jack is useless on there. Hang on a second. Let me just kind of give this a shove. Get up there. Come on. Get up on top. Oh, man. This is heavier than you think. All right. Keep going all the way back. All the way to the front. Just shove it. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, That'll have to do. Yeah, this pallet jack kind of useless when it comes to that. Unfortunately, um, I, I could use it to move them over here, I guess. But that's about as far as it's going to go. Yeah, let's just drag this thing on back. Uh, yeah, I can't use it on the ramps. She don't work on the ramps. I mean, I'm really not sure what I expected there. Um, it, it's close, but yeah, I, I, I can't drag it up there. And trying to push the stupid thing. Yeah, just like watch here. Let's see if I can get close. We'll see if I can get close to it and just drag it on up. Just drag it up. Where's the ramp? There it is. Okay, up, up, up. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Oh, maybe I can drag it. I was trying to push before. Oh, hang on. Let's see. I'm going to get lined up a little bit better. There we go. And then, come on, baby. Come on. Let's see if we can get you up here. Go, 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 go. Oh, damn it. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's <laughs> that's going to be a problem. Don't use the pallet jack on the ramp. We need bigger ramps, guys. I just need a bigger ramp. That's all. All right. I think we've got enough of these on that trailer for now. That's all I can really load on. It's, uh, I think it's going to be a problem with that truck otherwise. But look, at, look, we've got lots on here. Let me just, you know what? We should probably put some straps down on this thing. Make sure that it stays uh, somewhat put. Is there anything else? Can I fit one on the back? There we go. Put one on the back as well. There we go. Looks good, guys. So we'll take these down. Let's get this thing fired up and get out of here. Oh, come on now. Really? Really? Come on. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> come on. I got to get this truck served. I, is there any point in servicing this thing? Really? I don't think so. I really don't think there is. Let's go. Easy, easy. This old truck. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yeah, it's got this. We're good. We're good. We're good. I think. Yeah, she's good. This <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get lucky if I don't get pulled over just trying to take this down to the uh, the spinnery. So you have to let me know: is this plan gonna work out? How are we gonna get them out after this? I don't know what to do with it. I mean, I'm not thinking too far ahead here. I mean, we just gotta find a way to get in the in there. And now we've got this contract, we should be good. Um, it's just now, what do we do? Even once we get them out, if we can get them out, what do we do with them? That's the question. I'm still pretty surprised the amount of wool I've got off this, guys. Uh, there's still quite a bit here. This has only been like for the last three months worth of wool. It's kind of surprising. This is going to make a lot of prison jumpsuits. All right, let's get this unloaded, get this thing fired up, and hopefully in the next month or so, we should have enough to take care of him. Fingers crossed this is going to work. Oh, yeah, it should be fine. It'll be fine. Everything's unloaded. Oh, easy. <laughs> easy with those around here. But uh, that's it, guys. Jumpsuits are on their way. We'll get this all fired up, and hopefully you can find a way to take care of them. And then uh, maybe find a way to expand our farm. I don't know if I can use them as a farm hand. I don't know yet. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think we should do with them. I have no idea. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Drop a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And folks, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day, folks. This is Clutch. Over and out. Oh, boy.